Abby. Welcome to my class. Our topic is all about identifying appropriate test statistics involving population proportion. To begin with, our objectives are Define population proportion and sample proportion Determine the value of the population proportion and sample proportion Identify the appropriate form of the test statistic when the central limit theorem is to be used Relate population proportion in real life situations Let's take a review Identify the words being described by the statement at the box. Copy the letter of your answer on the corresponding columns in the table below, then answer the questions that follow. So for letter A, the sample, R, population, E, sample proportion, and T, population proportion. Number 1, it is an entire group of people, objects, or events which all have at least one characteristic in common and must be defined specifically and unambiguously. Answer, R, population. Number two, it refers to any part of the population regardless of whether it is a representative or not. Answer, A, sample. For number three, it refers to a part of a population with a particular attribute expressed as a fraction, decimal, or percentage of the whole population. Answer, T, population proportion. And lastly, it is the proportion of individuals in a sample sharing a certain trait. Answer, E, sample. Now, let us discuss population proportion and sample proportion. For population proportion, P is a part of the population with a particular attribute or trait expressed as a fraction, decimal, or percentage of the whole population. So, we can use this given formula as P is equal to the number of members in the population with a particular attribute all over the number of members in the population. So, it always expressed in percentage and can be converted into decimal. Let's have an example with this. In Matapat City, 10% of the residents are senior citizens. A survey was conducted to 500 randomly selected senior citizen residents to determine if they have cell phones, out of 500 respondents, 421 answered that they own a cell phone. Notice that in Matapat City, 10% is used. Of the entire residents are senior citizens. Therefore, the percentage of the senior citizen residents represent the population proportion or percentage which makes P is equal to 10% or 0.10. Similarly, among the senior citizens that percentage owns a cell phone is by using our given number of senior citizens with cell phone which is 421 and number of senior citizen resident which is 500. So 421 divided by 500 is 0 0.84. Sometimes the sample proportion P hat is stated directly such as 20% respondents or 0.20, 5% of the defective bulbs, 0.05, 50% of the grade 12 students, or 0.50. On the other hand, there are cases where we still need to calculate for the p-hat or the sample proportion. For example, 70 out of 200 residents are married, 150 out of 500 listeners are interviewed, 10 out of 1,000 bulbs are defective. Moving on, sample proportion P hat is the ratio of the number of elements in the sample possessing the characteristic of interest over the number of elements in the sample or n. It is computed by the formula P hat is equal to the random variable for the number of successes in n samples or x with all over the number of trials or the size of the sample, which is n. Symbol that P hat is equal to x over n. P hat is the proportion of, of the number of of successes in n samples and red as p hat, x represents the number of successes in n samples and n represents the size of the sample. Let us use this given example for us to deepen our understanding in finding the sample proportion. 
and for the population proportion. Let's read. For a class project, a grade of STEM student wants to estimate the percentage of students in a school who are registered voters. From 45% grade 12 students, he surveys 500 students and finds that 200 registered voters. Determine the value of P and compute for the sample proportion. On the given statement, it is being mentioned that 45% grade 12 students. Here, we are referring for the population of 45%. So, in decimal, that is 0.45. To find the sample proportion, let us identify the following. The surveyed grade 12 student is 500. The registered grade 12 students is 200. To use the formula, we have P is equal to the number of registered grade 12 over the number of grade 12 students, which is X over N. 200 divided by 500 is 0.4, which is our um, sample proportion. Moving on, let us discuss using the central limit theorem in testing population proportion. When testing situations involving proportion, a percentage, or probability, the following assumptions must be considered. The conditions for a binomial experiment are met. That is, there is a fixed number of independent trials with constant probabilities and each trial has two outcomes that we usually classify as success or P and failure as Q. The sum of P and Q must be equal to 1. Hence, we can write P plus Q is equal to 1 for to be able to get Q, which is 1 minus P. The conditions, which is the number of samples times P should be greater than equal to 5 and N times the given Q should also be greater than or equal to 5 are both satisfied so that the binomial distribution of a sample proportion can be approximated by a normal distribution with mu is equal to NP and sigma which is equal to the square root of NPQ. However, the specific numbers varies from the source to source. Some authors are 10 instead of 5 depending on how good an approximation one wants. Let us apply this in a given statement. For a class project, a grade 12 student wants to estimate the percentage of students in his school who are registered voters. From 45% grade 12 students, he surveys 500 students and finds that 200 are registered voters. Determine the value of P and compute for the sample proportion. That was the given example a while ago. Now let us check the assumption from the previous situation. It is evident that the responses have only two outcomes registered voters and not registered voters. Therefore, the first assumption is met. To be able to satisfy the second condition, we find that the hypothesized value of the population proportion, which is 0.45, while n is equal to 500. To get q, we are going to use q is equal to 1 minus p, which makes 1 minus 0.45 is equal to 0.55. Thus, we get the value of q, which is 0.55. Though substitution, it shows that the second assumption is also met since NP or the, the sample times the proportion is greater than or equal to 5 which is 500 times 0 0.45 which is 225 and 500 times 0 0.55 which is Q which is 275 is greater than or equal to 5. Since we have shown that NP is greater than or equal to 5 and NQ is greater than or equal to 5, all conditions are met where the sample size is truly large enough to use CLT, or the central limit theorem. In this condition, the test statistic to be used is Z-test statistic, for proportion denoted by Z-com or the computed Z-value. Now, let us discuss the Z-test statistic for population proportion. Let us recall the Z-score form, formula to be Z is equal to X bar minus mu all over sigma. With NP is greater than or equal to 5 and NQ is greater than or equal to 5. And with the standard deviation B squared of PQ over N, substituting P hat for our given X bar and P for mu sub of X, we get 
z com is equal to p hat minus p over square root of pq over n. Where z is the z test statistic, p hat is the sample proportion, p is the hypothesized value, n is the sample size, and q is equal to 1 minus p. Now let us apply this in a given example. Let us identify the population and the sample proportion. The Eye Care Center for Internet and Society of Kali Kaliwanagan Province recently conducted a study analyzing the privacy management habits of 80% internet users in a group of 50 teens. 13 are reported to have more than 500 friends on Facebook. Determine the value of P and sample proportion, or the P hat. Let us find P. It has been discussed that 80% of teen internet users, so 80%, converting it to decimal, we have 0.8. To find now p hat or the sample proportion, we're going to use p hat is equal to x over n. Since x is 13 and n is 50, we can get the p value which is 0.26. Another example, a survey of 2,500 women between the ages 15 and and 50 in Kalinisan City found that 28% of those surveyed relied on the pill for birth control. The research shows that 25% of the population are using the pill for birth control. Determine the value of P and the sample proportion. Find P, we have 25% of the population. Converting it into decimal, we have P is equal to 0.25. To be able to find the sample proportion or P hat, going to use the formula x minus n, since that is not given, and it is already illustrated that 28% of the those surveys relied, it is already mentioned, to the p hat or the sample proportion is 0.28. Let's try another one. Given the following, compute the for the value of the sample proportion or p hat in as fast as you can. So, let us try number one. 520 over 850 is 0 0.61. 168 divided by 480 is 0 0.35. 248 divided by 620 is 0 0.40. 150 divided by 540 is 0 0.28. And lastly, 425 divided by 930 is 0 0.46. It's been said, the opportunity to live a better life is in direct proportion to your willingness to change. According to Rafael Docta, love. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. And always remember, aim high, senior high.